working families in this country. Congresswoman, uh, I know that there are some members of Congress who rely on their paychecks, too, though certainly not all. We've already heard several senators, uh, Joe Manchin, Senator Mary Landrieu, come out and say that lawmakers should not get paid or they will voluntarily forego their paychecks. Would you? Would you forego your paycheck if the government shuts down? I have to tell you that I live paycheck to paycheck like most Americans. I'm still paying off my student loans. I have a two-year-old son who I have to support, and I have to maintain residences on both coasts. It's very difficult for me to say, hey, I can give up my paycheck, because the, re the reality is I have financial obligations that I have to meet on a month-to-month -month basis that doesn't make it possible for me. Now, if you're a member of Congress who is a millionaire, and there are quite a few mm -hmm. members of the House and Senate that are, it's really not a problem for them, but they don't share the experience that most Americans share that I know, having grown up in a family of seven kids to immigrant parents, um, that you have to really stretch a paycheck to, to make sure that it covers everything. And, you know, this suggestion that it's so easy for every single lawmaker to do that, uh, that's just simply not the case for, for, for a lot of us. Sanchez, I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for going through all those issues with us.